Hey guys, so I made something last weekend um, and you, you might be able to figure out what it is. <laughs> now I'm able to capture all of my angles. Mm. <laughs> I made a camera slider and this is a very short video about how I did it. So this is what I built. It's a um, pretty simple little machine when you look at it. Um, basic parts to it, we've got uh, linear rail, which is the main uh, the main guide rail for the whole thing. We've got two 3D printed legs on the end. On this end here, we've got a small stepper motor connected up. We have a belt that runs between the stepper motor and a pulley that's under here. And the belt also couples onto this little two sandwich plates, which uh, hold some uh, V-wheels. And then we've got a little uh, remote control here, which is the PlayStation 2 thumbstick in it. So when I move it, when I move the thumbstick, the little carriage moves along the extruded aluminium. So if you're fairly familiar with, you know, CNC machines, 3D printers, and that kind of stuff, you'll uh, this this design will be immediately obvious where it comes from. It's very very similar to. Uh, how the gantries of a lot of 3D printers work um, with you know three V wheels in here um, sandwiched around this extruded aluminium to which provides a really really nice um, nice nice yeah, smooth surface to run on um, so yeah that's that's pretty much it really um, the only other thing we have here is this is a uh, Phone, magnetic phone holder that I got years ago. I think it's called a perch mount. I think is the brand It comes with its own little adhesive um, magnetic pad there so you can stick your phone into it and then clip it on there and Yeah, you can do kind of sweeping shots uh, from side to side so This is only doing one thing at the moment because I just have the remote control uh, program just to move me side to side at constant speed with a small amount of acceleration profile built in there um, yeah that's pretty much it I mean I don't have a huge amount more to say about this I just kind of wanted to show it off because uh, it's already built <laughs> I built it in a weekend uh, and that was it really um, there's some cool stuff or some there was kind of some some thinking around why I did this I pretty much I had this little tiny motor um, sitting around and I wanted to do something with it um, I've seen these before. Now there's like the better ones, the expensive ones, the camera can move as well. So there's another motor in the base part here that can move the camera so that you can set like a focal point here. And then as it moves from side to side, you know, it'll, it'll twist the camera as well so that it'll always stay, you know, centered on one point. Mine doesn't do that. It just, just moves side to side like you saw in uh, the demo earlier on. But it's still kind of cool, it still gives you some sort of fun shots and it was fun building this. I've never actually built anything to run on extruded aluminium before so that was quite fun. I uh, did in my CAD, I actually modelled the piece of extruded aluminium to get all the fits uh, nice and tight and I have to say they worked out really really well. I um, was pretty impressed with how well that worked out when I modelled it um, so it's a good tight fit and um, there isn't any way of tensioning this so uh, if the wheels wear over time it will probably develop a little bit of slop in it but um, yeah it is what it is I don't imagine this will get a huge amount of use but yeah it's fun fun to build um, I can probably give you some different angles on it so you can see oop, from the very back here there's a little pulley that the belt is running on and there's our V wheels moving up and down. Um, yeah, and then at the very back here, we've got our little control board is all tucked away in there. Uh, it's really, really basic. All it is is the inputs for the remote controller there. There's an Arduino uh, Nano in there, and there's a DRV8825 stepper motor driver. Um, and that's yeah, that's that's really it. I think it's about ten lines of Arduino code to make this whole thing uh, do what it's doing. 
Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to talk about that. Just wanted to show it off. Um, if you guys like this, um, I can throw the CAD and the code and, and all the, the stuff up um, online um, so that you can have a look at that. You can build one if you like, um, or you can improve on the design. Uh, the only thing limiting factor with that is this little stepper motor. I do have the brand and the model underneath it, but I salvaged this off something and I have no idea if you can just go and purchase this exact motor. So the mounting holes and stuff might not quite line up. I'm not sure if you'd be able to find another stepper motor that would, but if you could, you could rebuild it yourself. Um, so yeah, that's about it. You can check the link in the description. Uh, I'll throw in there um, the CAD and code and, and, and all the various bits and pieces for it. And yeah, hope you enjoyed guys. Um, as always, thanks for watching.